Hello, our citizens. My name is Chris. I'm a brain education instructor from Rolling Hills, California. Today, we're going to focus on chakra healing. So we're going to try to cleanse, purify, and reinvigorate our chakras through Qigong. So we'll start by opening up our feet about shoulder width. Try to grab the earth strongly with your feet. A little tuck of the tailbone, find strong legs. First, we're going to become acquainted with all of our chakras. So our first chakra is our root chakra. It's in our perineum area. So I'd like you to squeeze it and then let go. So squeeze and let go. So as we start to bring focus, attention into the space, we start to feel tension, warmth. We bring our focus to our first chakra. Now, to help build a lot of strength, you can hold it and squeeze and hold and hold. This is a good way to help bring our mind, thought energy down to start to recharge and heal our lower chakras. This is our physical health. Our second chakra, two inches below our belly button. So we're gonna take gentle fists and we're gonna to start to tap that second chakra. Relax your shoulders, you can turn your head a little bit. Let your body find a little rhythm. So your second chakra is two inches below your belly button and two inches inside. So you need to tap firm enough for the vibration to penetrate inside two inches. Good, relax your shoulders. Start to bring your focus to that second chakra. If you can keep squeezing first chakra, that's amazing. Relax the shoulders. Good, so first and second chakras have a lot to do with our physical health, our physical well-being, improving our digestion, improving our immunity. Now we're gonna come up to our third chakra. Our third chakra is in our solar plexus area. So we're gonna tap a little bit above your belly button, a little bit below your rib cage. Ah, so breathe out of your mouth. Now this is the bridge between our physical and our emotional. So sometimes when we tap here, there can be some tenderness, some discomfort. There might be some emotions that bubble up. So you wanna let what arises, arise. Ah, and breathe out. So as we try to heal these chakras, you're gonna feel some feel too strong, some feel too weak. We're gonna to try to find that perfect balance in those chakras. Now coming up to our fourth chakra, it's in our heart, so we can tap our chest. Now if the fists feel too strong, you can tap with fingertips. Good, you might tap with your palms. And if you want even more intensity, you can tap pretty strong. So you're tapping over that fourth chakra. So a lot of emotions here surrounding the heart and the chest. So breathe out through the mouth. And you might find the urge to make a little sound. Ah, uh, it can help clean and purify the energy of emotions very well. So if the sound bubbles up, let it come out. Uh, the louder, the better. It feels really heavy and sticky. Good. Now our fifth chakra is in our throat. So we're going to tap gently, soft tissues. Good. So tapping around your fifth chakra. So you might tap around that throat. Good. Now this is the bridge between our emotional center and our spiritual center. So this is an area of transition here. So sometimes we feel a little stuck in terms of expression, ah, good, or everything pours out. So we can find that imbalance in different areas. So we want to clean. So as you're checking in on each chakra, you'll find which ones are happy and which ones may not be as happy. Good. Now we're going to come up to our sixth chakra, which is in our forehead, just above your eyebrow. Third eye, sixth chakra. Relax your shoulder. Don't build any tension while we're cleaning. Ah, breathe out with your mouth. So tapping the forehead. And you may find that your forehead might feel a little tender, might feel a little prickly or sensitive. So your hands may start to travel a little bit around the forehead, eyebrows, maybe even over to the temples as you're working around this sixth chakra. Good, breathing out through your mouth, keeping to release. And now the final chakra, our seventh chakra is the crown of our head. So we're gonna come all the way up here to the top. Good, this is the connection to the universe. This is the connection out the top. So relax. This is where we pull in energy from the universe down to the crown. So we want to open up the whole line of all seven chakras. Good. About 10 more seconds. If you feel strong, you can tap a little harder. You can tap a little gentle. You can shake the head. You can release the tension, however it comes up. Good. Now slowly stop and bring your hands almost touching, creating a little ball of energy. You feel buzzing and tingling from all the tapping. So now we want to take this energy ball between our hands. We're going to connect this energy well. So as you inhale, let it expand. As you exhale, let it contract. Good. Inhale and expanding. And contracting. 
right? So we're going to use this ball of energy, pure, fresh energy that we just created, and we're going to clean and heal our chakras. So we're going to take our, our energy ball and we're going to pass it through our first chakra, which is in our perineum. As we pull it through our body, we're going to pull the energy up our back to our second chakra in our lower abdomen and pull it through and then down. I'm going to turn to the side so you can see. So as I inhale, I'm going to pull the energy up my spine to my second chakra. And as I bring the energy ball through, I clean, I heal that chakra and pushing the energy back down to the first chakra. We'll do one more time here at the second chakra coming up and through the body and down, clean. Good. Now we're going to come up to the third chakra. We're going to do three passes at each chakra. So coming up to the third chakra, your solar plexus, pull the energy through and then push it down. So feel the energy drawing up your back with the inhale, coming up to your third chakra, solar plexus, and pull it through and pushing down, letting go, cleaning away all tension, inhaling up, coming through the body and exhale down. So you'll notice the breath may start getting longer where you start moving faster as you go. We're coming up to the fourth chakra, come up to your heart. Pull the energy out, clean the emotions of your heart and exhale down. Inhaling up to your heart and through and down. So you may start to feel the circulation of energy coming up your spine, coming down your front. Now we're coming up to our fifth chakra, so we're going to come up. Now if the hands get a little sticky, you can pull them up behind into your throat and pull through your throat. So allow your arms to move how it's comfortable. More important is the mind. It's coming up. Feel the energy come up into your fifth chakra and then pulling out clean. Exhale down. One more time, fifth chakra. And down. And down. Now our sixth chakra, right in the brain, the pineal gland, uh, third eye coming up, coming up right to the back of your head and pull, clean all the thoughts, heal the mind, washing down. You may start to feel a lot of temperature in your body as all the chakras become cleaner, activated, up and through. One more time for the sixth chakra. through the brain, washing down. Now we're coming to the seventh chakra. The seventh chakra isn't limited at the crowd ahead, so we're gonna reach up as high as we can. We're gonna connect as much to the universe, so we can reach up as high as we can. And then pull energy down. So connecting all the seven chakras, feeling them more aligned, more activated, more healthy and vibrant, all the way up. Exhaling down. Good. One more time. All the way up. And exhaling down. Now we're going to bring down the sky. So we're going to take our hands to the outside, gathering all this universal energy. And as you pull the energy down, Feel your chakras coming through the seventh of your crown, your sixth in your brain, your fifth in your throat. Your hands move, the energy moves through your body, fourth chakra in your heart, solar plexus third, lower dungeon second, in the abdomen, perineum at your root. Good, two more times. Inhaling up. Exhale down. Feel each chakra as they pass. And one last gathering breath, pulling up all clean, fresh energy, healing each chakra as it passes. Seven, six, fifth, fourth, third, second, our hands, bring our feet close together, and rest your hands on that second chakra. This is our physical power, our primary battery for our 
energy for our health and vitality. So gather all the energy there. Let your body sway. Close your eyes if you're comfortable. With each breath, breathe in through your nose, fill your second chakra. Exhale through your nose, squeeze it. Scan all seven chakras. If there's one that feels uncomfortable or needs some help, you can put your mind in that chakra. See the beautiful energy feeling, healing. Slowly to the rug, grab your feet just a little wider, zeroing in on that second chakra. Slowly stop, take a deep breath in and out. Well done. You can shake out your body a little bit if there's any stress or tension. So, through this chakra healing practice, we are looking to activate all the chakras, to purify all the chakras so that our, our energy balance is as stable as possible and that brings health and vitality on a physical, on an emotional, and a spiritual level. So thank you for joining me for this chakra healing. I want to thank you. Come sign me down. And if you'd like to experience a full one hour brain education-based class, please contact the Body and Brain Center near you.